During World War II, three countries made the decision to develop the atomic bomb: the United Kingdom, the United States, and the Soviet Union. In 1943, Britain set aside its own efforts and joined the Manhattan Project as a junior partner. Fear of a German atomic bomb motivated the British and American efforts, but Germany opted not to make a significant effort to construct the bomb in 1942. By August 1945, the United States had two bombs ready for use, in an astounding display of scientific and industrial powers. Although Germany had been conquered by that point, the U.S. decided to deploy the bomb against Japan. Thousands of nuclear bombs were built until the Cold War. And in this video, we will present the 10 biggest nuclear bombs in terms of physical dimensions. Number 10, the Little Boy. Little Boy was the first nuclear weapon used in warfare, and it was dropped on the Japanese city of Hiroshima on August 6, 1945, during World War II. It measured around 10 feet long and weighed about 4.4 tons. After the Trinity nuclear test, the Hiroshima bombing was the second man-made nuclear explosion in history. Number nine, the Fat Man. Fat Man, also known as Mark III, was a nuclear bomb that the United States exploded over Nagasaki, Japan, on August 9, 1945. It was the second of only two nuclear weapons ever used in battle, and its detonation was the third in history. The moniker "Fat Man" refers to the bomb's early design, which had a wide spherical shape. Fat Man was a nuclear weapon with an implosion-type core made of solid plutonium. It was around 10.4 feet and weighed approximately 4.67 tons. It exploded with a force of around 21 kilotons of TNT. At number eight, Mark IV. The Mark IV nuclear weapon was an implosion-type nuclear bomb developed by the United States based on the earlier Mark III Fat Man design. The Mark IV entered the stockpile on March 19, 1949, and served until 1953. The Mark IV was the first mass-produced nuclear weapon with over 500 units made. This weapon's explosion force may exceed 31 kilotons of TNT. Mark IV nuclear bomb has greater overall dimensions than the previous two bombs on the list. Number seven, B-41 bomb. The B-41, commonly known as the Mark 41, was an early 1960s thermonuclear weapon used by the United States. With a maximum output of 25 megatons of TNT, it was the most powerful nuclear bomb ever produced by the United States. The B-41 was the United States' only three-stage thermonuclear bomb. The weapon measured 12.4 feet long and 4.4 feet in diameter. It weighed roughly 4.84 tons, and the B-52 Stratofortress and B-47 Stratojet were supposed to transport and drop it. Number six, Mark VII Thor. The Mark VII Thor tactical fission bomb was the first used by U.S. forces. It was also the first weapon to use the toss method in conjunction with the low-altitude bombing system, and Mark VII was outfitted with retractable stabilizer fins to allow for external carriage by fighter-bomber aircraft. Using different weapon pits, the weapon had multiple yields of 8, 19, 22, 30, 31, 31, and 61 kilotons. Between 1700 and 1800s, Mark VII bombs were manufactured. The Mark VII nuclear weapon was roughly 15.2 feet long and weighed 730 kilograms. At number five, the Thin Man. The secret name Thin Man was given to a projected plutonium gun-type nuclear device developed during the Manhattan Project. Its development was halted after it was discovered that the spontaneous fusion rate of plutonium produced in nuclear reactors was too high for use in a gun-type design. Due to the high concentration of the isotope plutonium-240, Thin Man was 17 feet long, with tail and nose assemblies that were 3.1 feet broad. The final weapon variant weighed about 3.6 tons. At number four, Mark 17. The Mark 17 was the United States' first mass-produced thermonuclear hydrogen bomb. It entered service in 1954 and was commissioned by 1957. 
Mark 17 was carried by B-36 and was extraordinarily huge and heavy by today's standards. It was 24.10 feet long, 3.5 inches thick, 5 feet 2 inches in diameter, and weighed 21 tons. The Mark 17 produced 15 megatons of TNT. Between October 1954 and November 1955, approximately 200 of these bombs were manufactured. At number 3, the Flashback. The Flashback bomb is the forgotten nuke. Everyone has heard about Fat Man and Little Boy. Students of nuclear weapons history are likely to be familiar with the SAR bomber. However, just a few people have heard of the United States' most powerful nuclear weapon ever developed. The flashback bomb was so large that it couldn't fit within the B-52 bomb bay, necessitating the removal of the bomb bay doors. Flashback might produce 50 to 100 megatons of TNT. It measures almost 25 feet long and weighs more than 22 tons. At number 2, the Big Test Vehicle. This is yet another bomb that was ignored. The Big Test Vehicle, also known as the BTV, was the United States' most powerful nuclear weapon ever produced. Large enough to accommodate while still being able to go inside of a B-52 bomber. The BTV bomb has the potential to generate as much as 100 megatons of TNT. The BTV measured in at a length of 25.7 feet and weighed 11.34 tons. At number 1, SAR Bomber. SAR Bomber detonated on October 30, 1961 by the Soviet Union is the largest nuclear device ever detonated and the most powerful man-made explosion in history. SAR Bomber with a yield of 50 megatons of TNT was the culmination of a series of hydrogen bomb tests conducted by both the Soviet Union and the United States during this time period. SAR Bomber may theoretically have produced up to 100 megatons, but it would have resulted in deadly levels of radioactive fallout. The bomb measured 26 feet long, had a diameter of about 7 feet, and weighed 27 tons. That, guys, was the 10 biggest nuclear bombs in history. We've come to the end of the video for today, but don't forget to hit that notification bell for more videos from the buzz.